So there's a new trailer for Godzilla. I love this trailer a lot. I really like this trailer. I walked away from this trailer so pumped. It engaged me. I was like, yeah, before I was like, I'm looking forward to Godzilla. Now I'm like, I really want to see Godzilla a lot. First of all, they played it right. Brian Cranston's voice is in the forefront of this entire trailer. He's all in his Heisenberg voice. He's like, what happened out there wasn't an earthquake. It's not a typhoon. It is the danger. It's the one who knocks. And he's probably right. Godzilla is like, I'll burn your world down. Just me. They have a really interesting and cool plot point. Back in the 60s, this Godzilla was, you know, raising havoc. Apparently not a lot of havoc because no one knows about him. It looks like he was wrecking unknown islands or some shit and they tried to nuke him. They tried to take him out. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe this is his kid. Maybe it's him, but he's more powerful because he was like, hey, thanks for the nuke. Now I'm stronger. Point is Godzilla is back and he's huge. This trailer, this movie shows that Godzilla is a force to be reckoned with. He's so much bigger than any other Godzilla we've ever seen, which is cool. A lot of people are like, that's way too overpowerful. I think it's actually a good play because you have to establish this thing is damn near unbeatable. The reason that's important is because a theory a lot of people have. A lot of people who are down with the Godzilla lore, they've seen a couple shots in this trailer and they're like, that's Rodan or Rodan, one of the two. Iconic flying Godzilla pterodactyl badass. Is he in the movie? I have no idea, but you do see a couple things that makes you think there's something else other than Godzilla in this trailer. One, that thing that lands in the water. What is it? I have no idea, but it lands in the water. Godzilla fans, I've seen comment. They're like, that's Rodan because I grew up on Godzilla and it falls like Rodan, it flies like Rodan until I see otherwise, until I am proven wrong, that's what that is. But also that one scene where we're on a ship and all these planes are falling from the sky while this eerie music's creeping up. Brandon, they could be running into Godzilla, but they're not crashing into anything. They're not burning. They're just falling. And there is a shot that establishes that when Godzilla's in the water, he's under the water. This, something is in the clouds. Something is up there. I think it's something other than Godzilla, which now we get into Pacific Rim territory. Or actually, Pacific Rim borrowed from Godzilla. I get that. Point is, they're throwing it back. They're like, Godzilla is huge. He's overpowered. We're not going to be able to beat him. What do we need? I don't know. Another Godzilla thing to beat Godzilla. So now we have a flying pterodactyl that's going to fight him? I don't know for sure. This is why we make these videos. We theorize. But it sounds awesome! I love that scene where a bunch of Marines come across this radioactive thing, this canister that has this white foam on the outside and this guy's all... <laughs> he wipes the foam away. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and touch that. That's smart. And when you have balls growing out of your head, you got no one to blame but yourself. We see a couple of really cool shots of Godzilla. We see his fins. There's one scene where you see the front of him. He's like just head on. He opens his mouth. He's either roaring or he's gonna breathe his atomic breath on people. I'd be down with either, but I really want him to have his atomic breath. Godzilla's gotta breathe fire and shit. He's got to. I was impressed with this trailer. Godzilla looks huge. Godzilla looks badass. It looks like mankind is coming to an end. And that's what I want from this. I don't want to see it like a minor inconvenience. Like, well, I guess that one city's wiped out, but in the end, Ozymandias from Watchmen did a lot worse. No, I want to feel like like mankind, if they don't get this thing in check, is gonna get wiped out. And if not wiped out, we're all gonna be in caves with our rocks so like... Remember that big lizard? Yeah, that's a good story. Ask your grandfather. I'm gonna get this fire built one day. So the Godzilla trailer, have you seen it? What did you think about it? And do you think that's Rodan fighting Godzilla? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.